I hope you're doing well today. Welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm just going to make a little simple recipe of cupcakes in honor of Mardi Gras because uh, I'm in Louisiana and Mardi Gras is Tuesday. It's Fat Tuesday. It's coming up Tuesday. And uh, I'm going to decorate it with a little bit of colored sugar. And anyway, it's just a simple recipe, but I hope you enjoy it. I have almost, my almost all of my ingredients ready, sorry. And uh, I got this recipe from King Arthur Flour, and they say you can add some lemon oil. Um, I don't even own any lemon oil, and I have lemon extract, but I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to use vanilla. But so far, I have uh, six tablespoons of softened butter, one cup of granulated sugar, one and two-thirds cup of all-purpose flour, and now I'm going to add one and one-fourth teaspoons of baking powder. Just get this out. So, I like to try to get everything ready, but show you some of the uh, ingredients that I measure. So that's one, and we need one fourth. Okay. And I'm sure we need a pinch of salt. I'm using salted butter, but I'm just gonna add just a pinch to the flour. And it also calls for a little nutmeg And uh, I'm almost out. I'm going to use this nutmeg. It calls for about a fourth of a teaspoon. Can't open it. Yeah, I need to write this on my list. Sorry about that drawer. It's so annoying. We can't figure out how to make it stop making that noise. So I'm just going to guess. You don't want too much because it's pretty strong. So I've just used a little bit of it. Can you see that? I'm not good at holding it up to the camera either. Okay, so that's the dry ingredients. I'm going to stir those around with my whisk. And this is just your regular cake batter. So I'm going to throw my butter in the mixer. You could probably just do this by hand, really. Instead of having to wash all these dishes. I'm going to put my sugar in. And then I'll move you over to the mixer so you can see. And it uh, shouldn't take but a second to mix this all up. See, it's actually nighttime here. So I'm going to start creaming this. And uh, then I'll be back when we add the It's pretty cool egg. in here. So my butter a uh, little bit firmer than I expect. I'm just going to put my eggs. And I'm going to put my vanilla extract that I made last year. Just a little, little bitty bottle that I tested, but it came out well. And uh, I'm going to add about two teaspoons. I prefer the vanilla over the lemon. Mix this. Oh, and by the way, I have my oven preheated to 350. And I have a 12 cup, not 12 cup, but a 12... Uh, Muffin pan size, 12 muffins. <laughs> I'll get it out eventually. Mix this up quickly. I'm Good. I guess we're just going to alternate our dry with our wet. Let me move this over a little bit. I'm just going to add just... I don't make cupcakes that often. Uh, I find... I wanted to make these because I want to decorate them for Mardi Gras. That's why I want to make these. Kind of in a hurry. Okay, now we'll just add the rest. And you could flavor it with lemon or whatever flavor you wanted. Put the milk. I'm 
I'm gonna mix this and I'll be I'm back. Up. I'm gonna get my spatula and just, I'm gonna have to mix a little bit of the flour in by hand. I don't usually make videos this late, but uh, I didn't get to make one earlier, so I just decided to make one tonight. But it's almost my bedtime. I have to cool these off quickly. So I'm just going to get a, it's pretty thick. Make sure you get it from the bottom. I can see I have some at the bottom, so I'm going to make sure it's mixed really well. And I think uh, we'll see if it makes 12. I'm just going to grab my this uh, ice cream scoop and just fill these up. And I'm supposed to bake them for about 20 minutes. So once I have these filled up, I'll bring you back and we'll see if we actually get 12. Get the cupcakes out of the oven. They baked for 25 minutes and see they spring up when you touch them. I didn't want to dry them out and turn off my oven now. I'm going to let them cool and uh, then we'll make the frosting. And let me show you what I've done with the sugar. Two colored sugar so far. And this one was really hard because I had gel food coloring, so I, I, I'm still working it. I might not be able to uh, finish these till tomorrow, but I'm going to let them cool and I'll cover them. But I just wanted to show you, and I bought the uh, yellow sugar. It's kind of goldish, but it's yellow enough. But I just wanted to show you my progress. I'll show you that I put my cupcakes on a cooling rack. You want to take them out so they don't continue cooking in the hot pan. My cupcakes, I'm going to try to make a little batch of frosting. I have half a stick of butter, and I have this, uh, I don't know if you've ever used this, this Philadelphia whipped cream cheese. It's really awesome, but it's at room temperature. My butter, it's kind of cold in here, so my butter is not quite as soft as I wanted. I like more cream cheese than I do butter anyway. I'm not following the recipe. I just make my own cream cheese frosting, make it how sweet I want. I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla extract. And uh, a pinch of salt, even though my butter is salted, and I can't get all this off. And now I'm gonna mix this. We just need we just need a little bit for our cupcakes. So I'm gonna beat this for a minute. I'm trying to put a light here. I don't know if you can see better, but I apologize if it's kind of dark. So I'm going to mix this in that pretty good. So I'm going to just scrape it down a little bit. And I think I'm going to start with about a cup and a half of powdered sugar. Like I said, you can make this as sweet as you want. So that's one. And I'm not measuring the exact. I'm just kind of estimating. And I'm also going to grab the uh, heavy cream in case I need a little bit of liquid. So I'll be back after that. Pretty good. So this is... This is uh, good enough consistency for me. So I'm just going to take this. And uh, here's my cupcakes. They're little. I'm going to take a little bit of frosting. And you're going to decorate them with sugar from Mardi Gras. But I had a hard time coloring this sugar. I'm not going to lie. I've never done this before. But uh, you just want enough frosting on there to make the sugar stick. So... You just kind of want to layer like this. That's a good. And so I'm going to frost all these, and then we'll test the uh, the sugar dipping so out. We're trying to decorate them, we're making a mess, but the colors for Mardi Gras, I wrote it down. Ella, what were they? Green is green is for faith. Faith. Uh, purples for justice. And purples gold. for justice, and gold is for. Um. Oh my gosh, look at my paper. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, I found a good donut recipe. If anybody would like to see that, it will take me two days to film, but I might try it. Gold is for power, green is for faith, purple is for justice. That's what the colors stand for for Mardi Gras. And 
I also have some beads I'm going to decorate a little cake board with. But that's all you do. Just put a little frosting. And you can also take the cake, cupcake and dip it in the... Uh, but the sugar, this one only had purple gel. And I had to keep it, keep working and working the sugar into the gel covered. And this one, I had... Uh, the green one, I had liquid... I think I had liquid food coloring. And this one, I just purchased... It was much easier. I should have just purchased all of them. It would have been a lot easier than doing this. But aren't these pretty? And my daughter is the artist of the family, so she is good at the decorating. I'm not good at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, some of the sugar clumped up. Yeah. That's looking so good, Ella. Thank you. You finished with the gold, huh? Mm -hmm. We have some left over. So we're gonna finish decorating these and I'm gonna put them on the board and uh, take a picture and then we'll taste one for you. Okay, there's the cupcakes we decorated with a little bit of beads. We're gonna show you. And I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna put one on. It's gonna spill sugar everywhere and I'm really like a neat freak and uh, that's gonna drive me crazy. So I'm gonna get a plate. little plate right here it's just plain vanilla cupcakes with a little cream cheese frosting I just wanted to do something for Mardi Gras but it's just a regular vanilla cupcake and it's probably very good I'll take a little bite mm-hmm but there's a lot of sugar on top Okay, now we have to show you one more thing. Show you, I'm sure you've seen one before, but I live in Louisiana and they sell king cakes everywhere. Um, I don't know why I bought lemon flavor. I really like the plain ones or the cream cheese ones, but I bought this one from Kroger. This is what a king cake looks like. There's a little baby on it, and when you get the baby, it means you have to buy the next king cake. But it, um, it's basically like a cinnamon roll with the filling in it. Ella, you need, can you get me a knife? Okay, like a, we'll show you what it looks like on the inside. This one's rather big. I was gonna make my own, but I got too lazy to practice. I mean, this is not a real knife, Ella. I'm tearing it up. Well, it's soft, that's for sure. See, that's a inside of the dough soft and then you can see the filling it's just got a little bit of filling inside lemon see the lemon let me taste it hmm actually I don't really like this one um, I got one from Ella where we get one from Walmart and I think it was much better than this one. This one, um, I don't care I like for it. at all. I like it. Well, Ella likes it. That's good. But anyway, I just wanted to show that and share it with you. Happy Mardi Gras. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.